had a question on Facebook or one of our social media platforms about how the oven actually works. So I'm actually standing inside the oven right now. A lot of people might think when we're talking about our oven that it is similar to one that's in your house. So very small and tiny, but actually it's, ours is really, really large. They're not all this big. This one's 14 foot wide, 12 foot tall by 30 foot long. So we can do all kinds of things inside here. But basically it's just uh, a huge insulated box and then there's a burner and a fan. So you can't see it from inside the oven, but if we look over here, there's a grate. So the fan, the big circulation fan is behind this. And then inside behind this panel right here, the burner sits inside of here. We don't have it on right now. When it's actually running, there's a big flame that's inside there. And so then the fan is just blowing basically the hot air up. And then in the ceiling, there's little holes along the side all the way around. And so that's where the hot air actually comes down. That's kind of like a false ceiling up there. So when the blower is running, it's pulling basically cold air off of the floor because heat rises, right? So it's pulling cold air off of the floor, sucks it up through the burner box, and it's getting reheated by the flame. And so then the air flow is just shoving the hot air up to the, in the ceiling, and then it shoves down, essentially. So we're forcing the hot air down to the floor. So this is like a batch oven. You call it gas fire convection. So this is a convection oven, so we're just moving hot air around. There's a lot of different oven designs. Ours has holes in the ceiling. Some will have like that the air comes across the ceiling, but then actually runs all the way down the side of like a false wall. And I'll actually have holes in the wall and baffles. Ours just comes out of the ceiling. This particular oven, I guess you could say, you don't have as much tunability. Meaning like if you figured out that you had a spot that's colder in the oven, we don't have like a lot of baffles on the wall that we can open and close. That I've seen other ovens have. But we haven't had much problem with hot spots or cold spots. Obviously there are some areas that are hotter and colder in the oven but it's not too terribly different so overall the, the way this oven is designed it works pretty well. One of the key parts inside of any convection oven is the thermocouple. This one is just like a little rod that sticks out and the main uh, wiring for the thermocouple is on the outside. This is just a brace we put around it, so that way we don't hit it and break it. That just reads the temperature inside the oven, and it feeds it back to the control panel, so that way the whole system knows, is it is the room hot enough? Meaning, like, if we set it to be 400 degrees, that's telling uh, the control panel, like, is it actually 400 degrees? No, it's only 350, because the doors are open. So then it makes the burner um, fire harder. It gives it more fuel, makes the flame bigger, and then when it gets up to 400, then it basically shuts the burner off or shuts it way down so there's hardly any flame, so that way it doesn't get too hot here.